Dianne Feinstein, one of the most powerful Democrats in Congress at the age of 90, has reportedly ceded power of attorney to her daughter as her family dukes it out over finances. The ailing California Democrat who uses a wheelchair to get around has trouble remembering what she's doing, and in general, is having her fitness to serve in Congress questioned due to her health and mental acuity. The oldest member of Congress is being shadowed by her daughter Catherine Feinstein, 66, these days. Since returning to Congress in May after being sidelined in February and then being absent for months due to shingles, many have noticed her numerous public mental lapses. When she first returned, her facial features gave the appearance that she had suffered a stroke. When asked by reporters about her absence, the senator appeared confused, claiming she had not left Congress but had instead been there all along voting. According to the New York Times earlier this year, Feinstein relies on her staffers to push her wheelchair and to remind her when and how she should vote. They allegedly explain to her what is happening when she becomes confused. The ceding of the power of attorney is a legal move in a fight over her late husband Richard Bloom's estate, according to the New York Times, which reported on it Thursday. Catherine Feinstein is allegedly in a battle with Bloom's three daughters over the ownership of a luxury beach house, which is owned by Senator Feinstein, according to the New York Times. The lawsuit contends that Feinstein, who is very wealthy, is seeking to sell the house in order to raise funds for her ongoing medical treatments. Another lawsuit reveals the two families are fighting over Bloom's life insurance, which Feinstein claims she needs to cover her increasing medical costs according to the media outlet. It challenges the appointment of two other trustees in Bloom's estate. Michael Klein, a longtime lawyer for Blum, and Mark Shalvink Fox News reported, a business partner of Bloom's. The lawsuit argues the pair have withheld Bloom's life insurance proceeds from Feinstein, despite her claims that she needs the funds to pay for medical expenses, going on to note Bloom's intent to support his spouse after his death, Fox News reported. Klein and Shalvink's attorney, Stephen Burcini, denied the claim, asserting that Bloom's estate has never withheld any funds that Feinstein has requested. My clients are perplexed by this filing, Burcini told the New York Times. Richard Bloom's trust has never denied any disbursement to Senator Feinstein, let alone for medical expenses. Burcini stated that has not seen proof of legal power of attorney, nor has Catherine made it clear, either in this filing or directly to my clients, why a sitting United States senator would require someone to have power of attorney over her. While my clients are deeply concerned, we all remain hopeful that this is simply a misunderstanding that can be quickly resolved, rather than a stepdaughter engaging in some kind of misguided attempt to gain control over trust assets to which she is not entitled. Feinstein has been representing California as a U.S. senator for over 30 years. She announced earlier this year that she would not be running for re-election but would serve out her current term. A number of longtime colleagues have told reporters that her mental acuity has significantly declined according to the New York Post. Among a number of questionable incidents, Feinstein, who is the former mayor of San Francisco, had to be told a number of times by a staffer to say I last week when it was her turn to cast her vote on the $831.781 billion defense appropriations bill during a Senate Appropriations Committee hearing. Instead of just casting her vote, she originally launched into a speech on why she supported it, confusing lawmakers.